All right, everyone, welcome to Oopta Advanced, and this is going to be the uh, the latest walkthrough, uh, the latest uh, playtest, rather. I, I want to demonstrate the uh, myriad possibilities that come up. Uh, each player has multiple opportunities uh, to do something interesting on their turn. Simultaneous play is available. <clears throat> uh, there's always something to do. And if you're truly committed and focused on winning, you'll find every bit as much in strategy uh, as pretty much everything out there. So, all right, so here we go. We're going to start. Uh, begin with our famous number two roll. Now we have options with the advanced version. We are going to go ahead and buy a market token right off the bat. I don't have to, but I would like to. Oh, look at that. So I collected 10 tokens. Instant ka -ching. Very nice. If you want a fast start, it's a very good one. I'm going to plant some kale and we're going to cultivate, setting, up our, setting us up for the undercut crop, which is something we definitely want to try to take advantage of early on. Now, here is what is not in the other tutorials videos that I have created. Now we have a market token, uh, uh, converted from gamble tokens, and I can place it on the kale. Why do I want to do that again? Because uh, the market token placed on the kale is a sentinel or I guess you could, the equivalent would probably be like a scarecrow. Anyway, it's something that ensures that uh, when sabotage does arrive from uh, adversities laid on you, either through die roll number one or from other opponents, you have uh, at least one level of protection. And remember, of course, you can buy extra tokens, market tokens, uh, and beef up your defenses if you want to, uh, if you are in a position to do so. So this is a very good move, I think, early on. Definitely ensures the possibility of probably getting that kale uh, activated as undercut drop. Ah, but check it out. You know, if they roll sixes or they roll twos, you know, they, they, they uh, activate the adversity cards, then I got some serious problems. So here is the number six roll. They are, in fact, going to use it. Remove that. Could remove potatoes, but yeah, I think it's better, probably better to focus on that undercut crop. So that takes care of that. Now here we're going to have a scenario where you do need to be uh, attentive to what happens during the tractor return scenarios. Tractor return is available anytime you run out of tokens or and, and do not have actions. Well, technically it's when you run out of tokens. Um, in this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the one action, which is planting don't have kale. So let's plant cucumbers and replace. And now. Uh, I am not obligated, of course, so even though I ran out of tokens, I'm not obligated to do the tractor return. However, I want to get that uh, up and going as soon as I can because if I do that, it would lose a beat, the, tempi, the tempo would be off, and so if I do that, um, then I'm going to be working at a disadvantage, and so I want to alleviate that problem immediately, no matter what the cost. So what is the cost? Well, I get the five tokens, but I lose a turn and somebody else gets to see my stuff and they take a crop from me. These are tied. I just have to choose which one gets to see it. It doesn't matter to me. They're going to probably be stronger, so let's pick the weaker player <clears throat> for the moment. And they're going to remove uh, whatever they want. And they're going to say, you know, they could be strategic about this too. They could uh, they could remove the potatoes. Uh, looks like it's my best one. Right? Okay. That makes sense for them. If I remove the potatoes, it moves their potatoes up. So check it out. Well. Wait, yeah, I'm uh, just gonna plant something. 
Looks like all three players had uh, ran out of funds early on. Oh well. That means uh, whatever the benefits of having uh, <laughs> having our crops hidden from other people is kind of lost. Uh, now. Uh, the better players out there, you know, if you're super uh, savvy, uh, you're really, really competitive. Uh, you know, having other people reveal your stuff is uh, kind of a big deal. So, if you can keep track of who has what, you can uh, do some impressive things. Let's go with corn. It's going to replace carrots. Makes sense. Whenever you have double something, usually you have... It's not always the case, but sometimes you just want to get rid of it because uh, that will uh, improve its value in the market. But the other possibility is you might want to save two crops because then you might be opening yourself up for a trade possibility with other players, which is always, you know, in between rounds, that option always exists, right? So I don't think that takes care of that turn yet. Can't do anything, we just to return the tractor. Mm -hmm. Two, all right. Am I going to buy an adversity card or just move a crop? I can save the money. So why don't we do that? Well, let's instead buy the trading house. No, nope, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no purchases. Number two. Um, so we're just going to move the carrots up. You know, my personal inclination is to go ahead and purchase those adversity cards, but uh, you know, that could prove wrong. There's a lot of things we do where. <laughs> You put them under the microscope and you, you analyze them and you're like, wow, yeah, we, there is a better way to do that. And we, I was definitely wrong. Okay. Five, one, two, three. And now we're going to go potatoes. And we're going to corn. Squash on squash is in. Is now we can finally purchase the trading house. We like the trading house because, uh, you know, this makes a difference when it comes to uh, selecting the undercut crop. Now you can uh, draw from the draw bag or the discard pile, whatever you want. So trading house is pretty nifty. Um, let's go with, uh, let's pull some spinach out of here. You know, we're in the lead right now, I think, and so we want to maintain that by, uh, we, we can choose from either this discard pile or the uh, the bag. Well, I want to speed the game along, so I'm going to draw from the bag. And I want to grab... Uh, then we're going to switch out with the items. Oh, I can't grab them here. Remember, if you're doing a three for one, uh, it's always got to come from the. Uh, it's always got to come from the draw bar. Potatoes. And put everything back in the bag. No. So check it out. Uh, before I put the three back in, I, I do need to make sure that I draw from the draw bag first. Brand new. Now these go back in. There you go. Okay, so that takes care of that. Very good harvest. Okay, so charred goes to potatoes. Potatoes are still good for you despite everyone coming in those greasy fries. Oh, they're sweet. Especially sweet. Ah, uh, four is productive. Let's go with organics. Yeah. Again, okay, it's prayer. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm having misgivings. Organic prayer is really nice because it'll it'll protect me against uh, certain adversity cards, right? Pest and fungal attacks, but not weather related events. Okay, so let's go with. Uh, now this isn't since it's still my turn. Uh, I'm not a stickler about the reneging and everything, so I don't really mind. Uh, I haven't passed the dice on. That's kind of the sign. You pass the dice, and then you're like, oh, wait a minute, I forgot. That's when you're like, yeah, probably not.
And we're gonna go with uh, anything that's gotta be below carrots. And it is kale. Oh, awesome. Check it out. Okay, uh, I'm reneging. Why am I reneging? Because uh, it's still my turn. I, I am not happy with doing that. Oh. No, I shouldn't renege. And here's why. <clears throat> um, I already picked the crop out of the bag. Um, in my uh, estimation, it's not really kind of uh, written, but, uh, you know, sort of a, what you used to call gentleman's agreement. But basically, uh, that would be reneging. If I were to draw a crop out of here, and be like, oh, wait a minute. I messed up and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to plant my undercut crop. Well, it's too late. So, this person is missing an opportunity. Thanks to me. But we're going to go ahead and pay for that. Alright, well, I messed that up. Okay. Five is productive. Now I can buy the uh, disc. I buy the disc, but then I have to go in the hole. I'm going to go at a deficit because now I have to return the tractor. So six and a half one does into the other, right? <clears throat> um, I buy the disc. I don't want to buy it. God, I really would like to. <laughs> uh, the reason I want to buy the disc is because, of course, I can see what it is that's going on in these fields and I know exactly what to plant. Nice, fertile fields. You know, they got that beautiful loamy, uh, rich, dark look to them. Okay, so let's just go flip, and we're going to do cucumbers. Five, one, two, three. And we're going to go with, uh, what are we going to go with? Peas. Okay, that takes care of that. No other activities. Carrots moves to corn. Yeah, you gotta be careful with some of that corn, uh, you know, you got the glyphosates. Um, I'm sure everyone by now knows it's uh, there's some bad corn. Okay, so remove two crops from the field. Yeah, I don't want to do um, Alright, I mean, I don't have to do that. Let's go with the diversity. We're gonna pay for this. Okay, we're gonna move two crops. Carrots. Can't do anything about it. Uh, that's a real shame. I see into that. Cool. Okay, cucumbers on cucumbers. Twelve. Hey. What do we got for her, Johnny? We got some kale. <laughs> Which is awesome, actually, because kale is the, uh, the one you want to get. I get a crop in good shape. Charges up and die. Now, presumably they can't see each other, but here's where uh, <laughs> maybe you're super, super good at counting cards or uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, you know a lot, there are some seriously talented players, people out there. They can probably keep track of who has what. Uh, I, of course, cannot. So I just play to the best of my abilities. Yes, I created the game, but uh, sometimes things we create are beyond uh, the capability of truly understanding. And in my case, that's what we got. But that's why I find it endlessly fascinating. So, uh, so here's a four productive. We're gonna go with kale, with the rooskies. There's two tokens for that. That was a nice productive roll. I'm feeling good about that. Um, and now, here's where the really fun part is. Um, placing a marker token is not an action, it's an activity. So if I do that, you know, here's the really nice part. Um, and you gotta kind of budget, because check it out. Uh, I only have to put five tokens on this, for this to be protected. Protected, but it's gonna be uh, protected once. I could protect it twice if I put 10 tokens on. What's the downside to doing that? Well, the downside of doing that is I lose the tin tokens because uh, to free these up, I would have to liquidate them. And liquidating would mean losing the token, I mean, you gain the tokens, but you lose the protection and the crop does have to come off the field. So that's a big loss. So I have to weigh the fact that uh, how much? 
How many tokens do I want to keep in reserve to do just normal farming? And how much do I want to uh, to allocate to farm uh, marker token status, right? <clears throat> so here's the deal. Uh, I think for now, let's just stick with five. Uh, so there's that. Right. Uh, wait, am I doing that right? Maybe I'm not thinking that. Um, yeah. I want to take five tokens. There should be five tokens here. Now you gotta make sure when you're changing that out, uh, you know exactly what you're doing. All I did was I took the 10 tokens, I split it up. So now we've got 5 here and 5 here. Other players can uh, keep track of you, you know, as you're playing, so you'll know. Uh, everything's all on the up and up. Now things get really interesting. Okay, so here's a great example. I have a marker token on a crop. I am going to cultivate and harvest. Now, here's the really cool part. Since I bought, brought this to fruition, I am rewarded with this uh, marker token. I get to keep it. It's not discarded. The only time it's discarded is if uh, an adversity card is played against you and you have to remove it. Or, in the case of liquidation, it doesn't go in the discard pile, but you can keep the token, but the uh, item it's protecting is discarded. So, uh, that can be a little bit tricky for uh, beginners, um, but with regularity and familiarity, uh, you'll get used to it. So, cultivating harvesting can is at the one spot, and now we did something amazing. I only get one token, right? Like, ah, you're nuts. Like, why would you want to do that? Shouldn't have got rid of this. Now this becomes vertical. This becomes um, a means of telling all the other players and helping yourself remember that uh, you initiated the undercut crop. And by so doing, it now has a value of 60 tokens. Now, of course, anybody can harvest it, but they can also move it up and down in the market, try to depreciate it, cause it to lower in value uh, as they're playing defense against you. Now, that can bite them back, right? Because if you're always moving it around, lowering it in the market, that means you, in fact, are disqualifying yourself for chasing after the gold, right? If you turn the gold into copper, why are you chasing it, right? <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, you know, difficult decisions, right? You, you just, you gotta make some difficult decisions, uh, you gotta do it on the fly, and uh, it's not always easy. So, uh, I don't find it easy. But, uh, oop, he's not for the faint of heart. Okay, if you're, if you're in it to win it, you, you better bring your A game. Okay, haven't gambled. Uh, again. Which often I do not, by the way. <laughs> uh, I get too tired or stressed or whatever. I play bad chess. And I also play bad oop at some time. Okay, so Kale. Okay, okay. Uh, it, it's gotta be anything better than peas. Ashes. Gambling. Sabotage. Yeah, organic sprayer protects against adversity cards uh, that are fungal in nature or by pests. It can't protect against sabotage. So, unfortunately, these peas come up. They don't move up. The reason they don't move up is because once you hit. Well, in the normal sabotage, uh, that's it stays where it's at. Um, if you roll a number two, that's different. When you roll the number two, that's when you can uh, essentially do the wraparound effect with the uh, twelve and one. So you always got to bear that in mind. Um, we're gonna plant and cultivate something. Nobody owns any other essential equipment, so you got to make sure that's always a possibility. Let's go with the uh, potatoes. There we go. And now we're gonna grab something else, a lower value, which it is, chime, very nice. And let's see, kale was the affected crop, so now we're gonna eat. Two, okay. Uh, check it out, probably made a mistake on the last turn, or maybe we didn't have an opportunity, we ran out of tokens. Uh, activities are allowed. Tractor return is an activity, so I'm going to grab the five and tractor 
goes back here. Let's grab that mixture. Um, and then somebody gets to look at my stuff. It's gonna be uh, pretty evenly matched. They're gonna say, "Hey, get rid of your potatoes." This is all anybody can do is talk about Star Wars 24/7. Okay, so here's T's. There. Now we're gonna flip. Five is productive. Let's go with K. K is. Yeah. Okay. Now, check it out. Here's a, a great scenario that I need to explain. Uh, they want to plant kale. We have two kale. We want to compete for the undercut crop. Don't have the tokens. Barrier to entry fee. Barrier to entry fee is 15 tokens, as explained on the other video. So I can't do it at this point. There's no point in doing this. So let's just stick to potatoes. Oh, no. Then we got some beans. All right. So that's the beans. Uh, that's a bean of very good. Okay. So potatoes goes to. This is going to be five. We're going to go ahead and put the adversity card on. Return three crops to previous status. Yep, that's it for that. These are goes to broccoli. Broccoli ready. And then big money, big money, big money. So we got number five. Productive. Let's go with. do with this. Let's go with the uh, chard. Oh, that chard's only, uh, only nine. These are way better. Oops. There's a really old reference. Was that it? Only nines? Look at that. That's nine. Look at that cowbell. Going. Okay. So here's a six, it's productive. And we're gonna go with peas, which moves up and down. Peas moves up and down. I can sabotage two different uh, blokes over here, or gals, or anyone. Uh, potatoes, peas. So it's gonna be, let's go with. This, yeah, this person. They're a little bit behind me, that's the only one. No, but that moves my potatoes, see? Now you gotta think about this. Uh, potatoes moves down. I don't want to move potatoes down. So, let's keep this where it was. Hopefully that was right. Sorry. Wasn't paying attention. Okay. Can to remove potatoes. It doesn't affect this, because this doesn't move up and down. It's at the highest spot, that's why I do that. And, oh man, I only have one token. So, I'll do the one thing I can do. Turn in that tractor. Technically goes in the shop and then uh, this person gets to see the beans. It's Actually, we're going to remove the kale. Because we have two kale, we know that's a threat. Also, it uh, lowers the value. You see, it hurts this person and this person at the same time. I mean, not technically hurts, but you know what I mean. Uh, it does the damage uh, that it's supposed to do. Killing two birds with one stone is uh, not a bad way. I think it's good to be. Okay, we're in good shape. Oh, we can use the trading house. We'll just grab some more. Actually, I don't want to, I mean, I have kale, I'm not going to do that. I just want to grab something of high value that I can harvest. Then I can bring the funds needed to compete for that undercut crop. So let's do peas. And I can grab them there or there. I don't know. I guess I want to extend the game because we're not going to need. So technically this is probably going to be. A bit broccoli. Moves up and down. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Um, that's three's gamble. We're gonna gamble. 
we're going to have a gamble, we're going to gamble. Great opportunity to do so. You know, now we have plenty of funds. There's a misfire. I mean, a two is uh, a two looks better now because it could be a more productive roll than it used to be. Because now you can buy adversity cards. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know what to do, which is wonderful. Let's go with. Let's just pay for it. See, this is kind of the first time I've ever uh, gambled, and I did not settle. I did not do it on a productive roll. I did it on a sort of offensive. Oh, okay. Which no, I already had a card though. That eh, might have been a mistake. I don't know. You know, if we had the old uh, Oopta analysis machine, that might have been a fatal error. Who knows? Here we go. Here we go. With the peas, peas on the long wall. There's 11. So there's 11 tokens. Gonna flip this bad boy over. What do we got here? Hot pockets. Okay, so here we got corn. Corn moves up in value. Nice. No, I don't want to do I want to keep the corn. It's not reneging until you pass the dice. So let's keep the corn and we're gonna get rid of some lowly things. I have two radishes, that might be good for negotiating later. Who knows? There's that. Now we're done. Alright. Okay, so there's radishes. Five productive. Five, one, two, three. Okay, potatoes on potatoes. 15 tokens. San Francisco treat. Uh, Montana to rice, right? Back in the old days. I don't even know who's, uh, who's in the... Apparently 49ers are going to win it all. So, uh, I guess it's a foregone conclusion. Right, so there's that. Yeah, uh, something feels wrong, like I forgot something. I started talking about other topics, not paying attention. What I do? Okay, carrots. The witty banter sometimes detracts from the, uh, the need to focus. Supposedly, the serious chess players are drinking a bunch of tea. <laughs> Supposed to uh, help focus you somehow. My feeling is a hell of a lot of sugar is chocked. It's chock full of sugar too. So here's carrots. Carrots on carrots is twelve. Twelve bad boys. Okay, we're gonna flip this over. And now we have some one moves up and back. Okay, so that's good. Okay, and then radishes because charred. Who's productive? This. And we're going to go with the adversity card. Just going to do it. One is an adversity. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Collect 10 tokens. Oh yeah. That's a great, uh, that's the one time where the adversity cards are a benefit to you instead of a uh, a deficit. Okay, so six is productive. Fifteen. Fifteen is a disc. Yeah. Real life discs, of course, are awesome. They break up the clods. That uh, really clumpy soil. It's a vein of all. Well, it's rocks. Rocks in the soil uh, just eat up your equipment. Okay, so six. Um. I bought that and now I'm gonna do this. Okay. Char goes the potatoes. The pear, or earth apples, I think they're called. Okay, so here's a five. We're gonna go remove two crops. It's nice. Uh, I don't have enough tokens to protect them now. Here's the six, we're not going to do that. We're going to protect ourselves, we're going to plant away. 
And check it out. Now we have the resources finally to chase that undercut crop, which is awesome. And now we're going to play pay the barrier to entry fee. I'm sorry, it does not go to the depositor. It goes to the person with who started it. That's why we turn this crop vertically so we can tell who did what. They get the payment. Now, uh, barrier to entry fee can be paid at any time during the productive uh, process of farming. You don't have to do it as soon as you plant. Okay. The other thing you need to know is that you actually have to pay a token to whoever owns the cedar. So in this case, the cedar is still in the shop. So you do have to pay an additional one token to do the actual planting. So this is a barrier to entry fee. This is the actual planting of the cake. So technically, uh, you know, it will cost you 16 um, if you include the planting. But it doesn't include the other, other processes, which is, uh, you know, those are all, each worth one token each. Unless you're planning on multiple crop uh, field spaces. So, again, the complexity is there. Uh, if you want to be uh, productive and uh, as possible. Okay, so we did that. Pay the barrier to entry fee. And I think that was just one step. Now we're going to cultivate. Nobody owns a cultivator. And, you know, looking back on this, this is why you need other people to kind of watch things and help you out. <laughs> you almost need referees here. Um, I don't, I'm not sure they got paid for the disking over here. So, uh, sorry to them. But I think they're satisfied because they have 15 tokens. Uh, they win by one point. Uh, then I guess they would have a beat. But we do not have high definition replays in Oopta. Uh, maybe NFL. But here... We do not allocate resources to a super fun board game. Kale is. Wait, I planted it. I'm not called it. That's what I did. That's all we were. Oh, she wrote on that tree. Okay, choose productive. There we go. Here's an adversity. Remove two crops. So now I have three of these cards. They're going to be gaining super value uh, as soon as that growing season ends. So that's all she wrote. Potatoes goes to carrots. Blingity bling bling. Look at this. Uh, how do you like them apples? Uh, we've got another productive roll. So we're going to flip the use keys. Um, and we're going to go with spinach? No. Nope. We're going to go with chard. We're going to go with corn. There's a corn. So that was two. And what do we do after the... There we go, broccoli. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Okay. We got five. Oh, you got six, seven, eight. And kale on the wrong one is... Kale on the wrong one is two. Yeah, I'm harvesting. Check it out. So I've paid the barrier to entry. Yes, I did give them a lot of score, but you know, this kale did not get battered and bruised in the market, okay, which means it's still in good shape. So I, not only do I score that, I also score if there was any uh, cover crop uh, match according to the bonuses on the uh, game board. Uh, there isn't, and so I still get two more tokens for uh, its placement in the market. And now, uh, this is the first harvest in the game that's above a subsidy. So that's another thing you kind of have to remember to do when it kicks in. So we got 30, 45, 47 points there. 10% uh, of 47 is 5. So 5 tokens goes to this person. Yes. It goes to the person in the last place. I gotta think about this. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing okay over there. Okay. And then we reset. That takes care of that turn. So that was a huge hefty score. Squash was up in value. And I believe that was only one action because I did in fact harvest. Here's your cultivator. So now, this is why you gotta remember if you have two actions. Uh, now I have so much bling over here, I can do a major purchase. I look to see what I rolled. If I had rolled a five, I could actually purchase a farm pool outright. I didn't. So the options are what are the big ticket items now? Uh, now I'm sitting good. I could probably buy a crop insurance and some nifty thing like the high tunnel. This verse is going to be difficult now. 
because they did the monumental task of growing that undercut crop. Uh, so we got 38 points for the score. This is, uh, of course, a danger time in the game where you, uh, this person relaxes and these people relax too because they're like, ah, we're going to lose. This person is like, ah, okay, yeah, I don't have to worry. And so both sides kind of need to become actually more attentive because you can, in fact, pull out a big win even if you don't have uh, everything going for you at the moment. Okay, so here's uh, cucumbers. We're going to go ahead and plant and harvest our best stuff. Uh, cultivate, plant and cultivate. And here's your two, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now we're going to go with. Uh, there's the cucumbers. Look at that. Okay, so there's the cucumbers. Now I'm going to put a sentry out there. Good old Mark Token. Protect that bad boy. Now I can unleash adversity cards. Now I have to be careful though, so check it out. If I mess up and do an adversity card and they have the organic prayer, uh, I mess up. Um, I put the wrong adversity card on them. Uh, it's just like tractor return and uh, the whatever's in the weight queue is going to be examined by an opponent and then it, you, know, you know the process. So I got to be careful. I know they have the organic sprayer, so I can't bring a fungal or pest attack against it, but I can bring anything else. So I have, check it out, I have a drought card, so I'm going to do it. Drought is not pest or fungal, it overrides organic sprayer, corn comes off of there, which is awesome, you know, and they missed an opportunity. They could have put a sentry out there, uh, and they didn't do it, meaning I. <laughs> okay, so check that out, that was pretty cool. And now, okay, six over here is I'm hungry. Yeah, we're gonna sabotage the only person that has anything. No, I shouldn't say that. You can sabotage adversity cards now. So, if you want to sabotage this instead of that, you can. That may make more sense, actually. <laughs> now, I remember, of course, you don't know what they have, so this is a gamble. Here, you do know what they have, so it's less of a gamble. But boy, if you remove an adversity card, there's a good chance this will get played against you later, so check it out. Uh, here we go. Okay, that was kind of a weak card, so maybe that was a mistake, but they had to get rid of it. All right. Now we're sitting very pretty over here, because we're ready to be super productive on the turn. We could even buy something else if we wanted to, but I don't want to do that. So let's just, uh, let's just disc one field, because I don't feel like paying them a huge amount yet. Uh, there's that. that is good. Now we're going to plant something, which is amazing. Let's plant something super awesome. Peas. Peas for sure. And then now we're going to add even more peas because we have the high tunnel. Now, uh, remember, just planting on one cover crop, uh, two, two crops, it means it's only one action to do the seed. Uh, it only costs one token. And that's in the rules, you just got to make sure you understand uh, using the high tunnel doesn't add to your hunger token uh, cost. <clears throat> so there's that. Okay. Changing crops previous status. Okay. Now I'm going to try to unleash these on other people. This person needs to be, uh, <laughs> we're going to remove that mark. So check it out. Uh, remove two crops from the field. I'm going to play it on them. They have no protection. So there, the marker token goes back to discard pile. And now the cucumbers, even though they're ripe and ready, they're going to be discarded. Ouch. Holy shnikes. See, they just lost 14 points plus 5. They just lost 19 points late in the game. So 
you know, you may feel like you're doing okay, but boy, if you lack uh, certain defenses, crop insurance, farm crew, trading house, organic sprayer, uh, it'll come back to bite you, right? So, here's your only two. Very good buy One of these bad boys. Okay. Here we have, we're not going to do anything, but we are going to do beans. 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 Beans is going to be about to die. So there's two. Okay, and now we have corn. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and then squash goes to cucumbers. Two productive. We'll just move the peas down a notch. And we can use the action activity cards. This is overkill. So is this one. Okay, I. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna use it. I know. Peas? I mean, I lose five tokens, but they're gonna lose peas, which is uh, seven tokens. So maybe that's the way she justify it. You're good at math. You're pretty good at looking at the numbers. That's probably the way to Let's go with kill. How are we doing on undercut crop? Undercut crop got harvested, right? So I forgot to remove that. Okay, now we're starting over. We could start over with the undercut crop again. Let's do it. 